here's a quick updated video for those who care on my 99 SI. I'm in the process of putting a turbocharger on it. I just got the exhaust and the high flow catalytic converter in the mail yesterday. They're sitting in my back. I'm running a 3 inch diameter piping for my exhaust. Higher pipe flow, less back pressure, less stress on the exhaust stroke of the pistons. More horsepower. I have a T3, T4 turbocharger complete kit coming in the mail. It comes with a turbocharger, a passenger side downpipe, a complete intercooler kit including piping, silicone hoses, and clamps, blow off valve, external wastegate. The external wastegate comes with a 7 psi spring installed in it, as well as an 11 and a 15 pound spring um, if I want to increase the boost that I'm going to be running. It's going to come with a turbo timer and a boost controller and or uh, a fuel pressure regulator. The exhaust manifold coming with the turbo kit is a ram horn exhaust manifold. Ram horn exhaust manifolds are good to get with turbo. It um, increases throttle response, reduces turbo lag. A lot of benefits in having a ram horn exhaust manifold on the turbo. A new radiator is coming, a two row higher capacity, higher cooling capacity radiator. With a turbo on the car, your engine is obviously going to produce more heat, so you need a bigger radiator to reject all that heat from inside the engine. I have a vacuum manifold coming in the mail, which is going to be teed off of this vacuum line. It's good to have a vacuum manifold so you have a clean installation of all the vacuum lines you need, a good source and that's going to be used for the boost gauge, the uh, blow-off valve, and the wastegate. Right now I'm going to be running stock pistons, stock fuel pump, stock injectors with this, and a stock map sensor, so I'm only going to be running about 7 pounds of boost when I install it. Eventually I'll upgrade the map sensor to a 3-bar map sensor. These stock ones can only read 10.63 pounds of boost, and if I went over that, the shit would get all funked out of way and it wouldn't be running right. I'm going to be replacing the stock fuel pump with a Walboro 255. I'm going to be getting 440cc injectors to replace these stock ones. I don't even know what these stock ones are rated at, but they are not as much. New spark plugs. Got to get new spark plugs on your turbo in it. You need to get ones with a, um, a higher heat range and a lower gap between the electrode and the conductor. If you have a higher gap with turbos, a lot of times it'll misfire and the engine won't run right. This turbo kit comes with a passenger side downpipe, two and a half inch. And a lot of times these downpipes are long enough that they replace the catalytic converter area so there's no room for it. I'm taking my downpipe to my buddy and I'm getting it custom welded to the catalytic converter so I'm going to be cutting like half of the downpipe off to fit that so I can pass emissions. So that's pretty much it. With the stock internals and the turbo kit I'm going to be around 275 to 300 wheel horsepower and once I replace the fuel pump, map sensor, injectors and then upgrade the pistons and rods I'm going to be pushing around the low mid 400 range. I'm also going to be taking out the air conditioning system. I'm going to recover all the refrigerant out of it. Get this suction line, the liquid line taken out all the way up to that point. And we're going to take the receiver out, which is right down there, as well as the compressor, so we have room for the intercooler piping to come through. I already took the power steering pump out. That's pretty much it. The next video I'm going to upload is the actual installation of the turbo. I'm going to go step by step on what you need to do to install the turbo. It's not going to really be much of the nuts and bolts, just things that you need to do. A couple key points to watch out for. The main areas that you need to focus on. And then we'll get it up to the dyno and get it tested and see what we're running at.
So we'll talk, we'll talk in a couple weeks.